Well, hello there, beautiful people. My name is Python, and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Season 6 server. We're on the seventh episode today, my friends, and we're actually going to begin today's episode by heading off to the end, because believe it or not, out of everything that I need, uh, obsidian. I need some obsidian, because I would like to finally make a bit of a start on getting my enchanting setup going. Now, as you guys know, we've had a bit of a cow farm dealio going on inside our house for the longest time. And off camera, I have been going ahead and I have been farming those guys. And I am glad to report that I finally have enough uh, leather to be able to get ourselves a whole bunch of stuff, you know, a whole bunch of bookshelves, and therefore, you know, get some get some cool things going, you know, get some level 30 standard enchants, that'd be fan freaking fantastic, wouldn't it? So, yeah. So, with that done, we are just about ready to get this thing underway. Now, the good news is, periodically, off camera, I have been farming out the various bits of bobs in the nearby village. I decided to uh, plant down a sugarcane farm right there, which is kind of awesome, and we've been periodically getting a whole bunch of epic stuff. So, Ooh, look at this. Look at how many stacks of sugar canes we have, guys. This is awesome. Right, where's the leather? Yes, there it is. All right, so let's do a little thing here. Let's convert all of these. Oh, oh, that was weird. Huh, there is some block lag going on today, my friends. Uh, let's go into here. We're going to grab out a whole bunch of logs, and we are going to make the bookshelves. Oh, we've got 19 of them. Hey, not bad. All right, guys. So, uh, the next thing... Oh, I just realized we need another book, don't we? Uh, well... Ah, well, I guess we're gonna have to do this. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, doke. So, let's go up here. We're gonna grab ourselves a couple diamonds out of our ender chest. And, uh, can I... Really? I don't know what's going on today, my friends. Anyway, so, there's the enchant table. And there is the bookshelf. And now, I think what we need to do first is try to find a different location for all of these cows. And I'm thinking that maybe the best idea would be to, I don't know, maybe make a nano farm here. All right, guys. So let's get this thing underway, shall we? Now, I think what we need to do is begin by getting that place back in. And I think what we need to do next is go ahead. Hang on. I'm really trying to figure this out so I don't mess it up. So our chest is going to go here. We need some sort of block on top of it, rather like that. Although, with that said, I can't actually... Well, I can access that still. Yeah, actually, that works. That works. What am I on about? I'm being a bit of a doofus, my friends. I'm being a bit of a doofus. Right, so if I place that in there, we need to get this... In fact, no, hang on a minute. We need to get the hopper, place that in there. I apologize. My redstone knowledge is very, very limited, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll get that placed in there. And then, finally, I believe what we need to do is get the dispenser plate. Oh, no, uh, we need to get it placed in correctly. Yep, rather like that. Okay. Uh, and now we need to get rid of that fence replace it like that. There we go. Looking good. And then all we need to do is get that placed in there. Get that placed in there. We need to get the water bucket placed in there. And what should happen is it shouldn't go any further than that. Yes. Okay, that's fantastic. All right, so in which case, all we need to do now is get ourselves a whole bunch of cows placed in here. Come on. Don't you come. Oh, gosh. All right, here we go. Come on, fellas. You're all coming down. Oh, God. Uh, right, you all need to go down into here. Go on. Oh, my gosh. This is so dumb. I think I'm in some sort of hell. I, I don't know what's going on anymore, guys. <laughs> uh, oh, no. I'm in it now. Oh, no. Help. What do I do here? <laughs> I'm stuck in here. Oh, no. Go on. You're nearly there. You're nearly there. Go join all of your cow brethren. There you go. And the final cow, ladies and gentlemen. Before I can finally get my enchanting setup going. Go on. In you go. Go on. Go, don't resist. Don't resist. There's no point in resisting. There you go. Isn't it a fun time when you cooperate? And then all we got to... Oh, yep, there we go. And then all we got to do is that, and then these guys can all get bred up and stuff. And basically how it works is it makes use of the max entity cramming game rule. So basically, uh, when there's a certain amount of cows in there, then, yeah, the adult ones will start suffocating and dying, whereas the baby ones will survive and then grow up to die again. So, yes, fantastic. All right, folks, so finally this place has been cleared out. And what that means is we can finally, finally, finally have ourselves a level 30... Uh, uh, a charting setup. 
yeah, that. All right, so uh, let's try to make this look at least somewhat decent. I mean, to be honest with you guys, uh, oh, man. Uh, to be honest with you guys, this was always going to wind up being, you know, uh, that. So, yeah. All righty. Uh, I'd like to put some fences back in, though, actually. I think they work pretty well. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, where are they? Yep, there they are. All right, fantastic. Uh, how many have we placed down? So, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. All right, so one, two, three, four. That's all looking good. And then we could probably put uh, an anvil on top of there. A second anvil. We'll have one over there. And we'll also have one on the enchant setup. Because it's a good idea to, right? There's no such thing as having too many anvils, right? <laughs> Alright, and then of course we need to check that we can even get 30 levels. Yeah! Oh my god, still touches the next one. Hey! Hey, I wonder if I go ahead and make a diamond axe. And then I'll still get Silk Touch. And yeah, Silk Touch is still the next enchantment. Although with that said, you tend to have the same enchantments for the different tools, right? So what that means is we could potentially, if we really wanted to, we could get ourselves a diamond Silk Touch pickaxe. Just want to confirm that that is indeed the next enchantment available. Uh, because if it is, then we're going to save up for it. Yep, there we go. Silk Touch is the next one. Yes! Okay, that is fantastic. That really, really is, actually. All right, well, I know what we're enchanting next when we get to 30 levels. All right, guys, so with that all done, maybe we do a bit of a periodic check on our shulker shop sales. See how things are going. All right, so it's just this top chest now that has stuff in it. Oh, and stuff it does. Look at that! Three more sales since the last episode. Two loads of uh, two, and then another singular sale. Amazing! All right, there we go. So we've got another 38 diamonds from our shulker shop. <laughs> oh, oh my word. Uh, we used some diamonds up to make some tools and we got them right back. <laughs> oh, look at that. Nearly two stacks of diamonds without even mining any. All right, guys. So I decided that for the rest of the episode, we're actually going to make a second shop and it is a shop which you guys have been suggesting in the comments area below pretty much since this season started you guys know what i'm on about y you see this you see this little thing next to me hmm the little the little flower pot yes yes flower pots are amazing aren't they yes and i feel like it's only right that we spread the flower pot love across the world in the form of people buying it, of course. So, yeah, guys, today we're going to be making ourselves a flower pot shop. I've already got the plot sorted out. It's going to be going right next to my shulker box shop and right next to Mumbo's slime shop. And as you can see, it fits in pretty well. I've already gone ahead and uh, put in the outline here made out of cobblestone. But I'm actually going to be going ahead and making this out of hardened clay or terracotta, as it's called now. So... We need to go to a mining mesa or just a mesa biome in general. We're going to try and grab ourselves a whole ton of terracotta. And then we're going to get to work on making this thing. It's going to be one of the simplest builds going, my friends. Because, of course, uh, flower pots, they're, they're pretty much just entirely one color, aren't they? Yeah, look at that. They don't, even, they don't even have a rim up top. But I think what I may do is add a little bit of a darker rim at the top of the flower pot. And basically, it's going to be very, very simple. We're going to have ourselves the path leading into here. We're going to lead this path all the way across here around this pond. We're probably going to do something with this pond. I mean, I might go ahead and contact Mumbo. Maybe we could uh, do something together about this. Just a small little thing. But yeah, we're going to connect it up to this pathway here. And it's going to be very, very nice. And in the meantime, it would be nice if we could, uh, you know, decorate this area uh, in general as well just to make it look a little bit more inviting so yeah alrighty guys so I asked in the chat and Azuma Void was basically saying to just follow the trail of terracotta and as you can see here we go now I do believe it might have been Joe Hills who actually uh, connected this mesa up so you know uh, good job to Joe Hills uh, and yeah there we go community mining area fantastic right all we need is some regular terracotta. So, ooh, yes, look at this. There's lots of it. And a whole bunch of... Wait, what the heck? Huh, apparently a mineshaft decided to intersect a regular desert mine. Very interesting, very interesting. Anyways, uh, we are looking for some cool stuff. So, maybe we, like, go in here. 
No? Uh, well, I'll tell you what, we'll start shaving some layers off the top. We really don't need much of this. I'm thinking something like, well, I say not much, but I'm thinking something like eight stacks will do the job. All right, guys. So we've got five stacks of terracotta so far and one stack of brown terracotta. I think all I'm going to do at this point is just keep going until my pickaxe has run out. I mean, it's Curse of Vanishing anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter all that much. I mean, we're probably going to get ourselves a replacement pickaxe anyway with the diamonds that we have uh, stocked up so far. So that's always nice. Right. Uh, aha. Yes, we can shave a little bit off of this section here. Yes. Okay, cool. Right. Let's grab this little section here. We'll keep going until our pickaxe has run out. And then, yeah, we'll get back to base and get building, my friends. Because, yeah, who doesn't want a flower pot? I mean, come on, man. Flower pots spruce up any builds. They really, really do. We've got to keep the meme alive. Oh, there we go. And there we go. Yes. Well, uh, huh. Not bad. About five and a half stacks. That seems like a pretty healthy amount. I think that's going to be enough. All right. Let's get back, my friends. Wait, what? If I get a tiny amount more XP, I can have Silk Touch at level 14. Oh, my God. Hell, yeah. That's amazing. All right. Well, in which case, the easiest way to do that would be to breed up the animals. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So let's get over here. Let's get that off. And yes, this should grant me 14 levels. Yes. Go on. Give me the XP. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. Thank you, kind sir. There you go. There. Oh, God. God. There we go. Hey. Oh, wow. A whole bunch of leather in there now. Hey, look at this. Starting to get a little bit of stockage. Awesome. Right, now then, we can go ahead and get Silk Touch. I'm pretty astounded at that, actually. There we go. Sadly, it's by itself, but it's still pretty good. It's still pretty good. I'm okay with that. I'm actually almost tempted to save that one and then upgrade it as we go along. Yes. That sounds like a better idea to me. So we're going to go make ourselves another diamond pickaxe. And we are going to hopefully just get, you know, uh, efficiency or something basic, you know. What? Silk touch for 10 levels. Okay. Well, I know what I'm enchanting next. <laughs> diamond axe time, baby. <laughs> hey, not bad for 10 levels, guys. <laughs> Brilliant. Those have got to be the cheapest Silk Touch enchants I've ever got. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh, I'm very happy right now, guys. If you can't tell already. <laughs> Aha, there we go. Nine levels for efficiency two. Is that all we're going to get? Yes, it is. All right, well, you know what? Some efficiency is better than none, right? So let's get rid of all of that. I uh, don't even know what the next one's going to be at this point. Fortune three. Hey, that's not bad. <laughs> cool. Right, now then, let's actually make a start, shall we? <laughs> I've been dilly-dallying around with freaking enchants for a while. Oh, it's about time we've got some building done, my friends. So, uh, like I say, this is going to be very, very simple. All we're going to do is start off... I mean, we're going to have to move this sign, sadly. We're going to have to, like, do a little bit of this. And then we've got to bring this around here. Uh, although, do we want to sort of curve it just a little bit? I feel like that might be a good idea. Hmm. I think all we're going to do is we're going to make the shape first, at the very least. We're going to make the flower pot shape first, and then we'll probably add a little bit of detail in afterwards. Because by doing that, uh, we should be able to have ourselves something that looks pretty nice and not just one texture flat. Because as you guys know, flat textures are very, very boring. We need to have detail. Yes detail. All about the detail. Alright, so let's get this thing up and running, shall we? Alrighty, guys. So the shape is in. I think probably the next thing we need to do is put a little dirt layer up here, right? I think that would make sense. So if we start off by putting terracotta so the so the ceiling inside the place isn't like dirt, because, you know, that's going to look a bit awful, isn't it? If we put a layer of this and then put a layer of dirt on top, I think this could look pretty darn awesome. Now, obviously, like I say, at the moment, this is going to look absolutely Absolutely terrible, but as we start adding things to it, you know, get some flower pots on the inside, get some decoration. Uh, I think this place could look really, really cool. So uh, let's just go ahead and start placing in a whole bunch of dirt. I'm hoping I've got enough. Uh, do we? Do I have enough? Uh, yes, I do. All right, and then maybe we can uh, mix in some coarse dirt. In fact, there's an easy way of doing this. Let's do that, and then boop, boop, 
There we go. So this is for just a little bit of texture variation. Uh, there's no real system to doing this. Uh, it is just completely random. And I've said before in some of my other series, uh, putting in random patterns or not even patterns, doing things randomly in Minecraft is honestly one of the most fun things you could do because you just sort of place blocks down and see if they work. And as a result, look at that. It works pretty nicely, doesn't it, guys? Yeah. All right. So let's have a look at this now. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Yeah, we're going to need to do some serious work to this. This looks terrible. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. This looks terrible. Oh, my gosh. Right. Um. Well, maybe we could start by shaving off a little bit like that off the corners. We're trying to make this look a little bit less blocky because, honestly, it really doesn't look very good right now. Okay, that's not too bad. What if I do something? What if I add in like that? Uh, I mean, I'd have to do that on all corners just to see how it works. So let's do that. All right. And yeah, sometimes I am my own harshest critic when it comes to builds in Minecraft. And quite rightly so, because honestly, that was looking pretty darn terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, man. Right, okay. Uh, maybe, could we, like, add a little bit of curvature down there? What do you guys think? Maybe a little bit like that? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. All right, let me see if I can come up with something that works, huh? Aha! You see, this is starting to look a bit better. We've added quite a lot of curvature to this build now. And I know what you guys are thinking. Wait. What? Flower pot's like nice and square in Minecraft. Why are you overcomplicating things? Mate, I just wanted to try something new, all right? <laughs> it's as simple as that. It really, really is. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, as you can see, we've got the flower pot there, but we decided to sort of upgrade it a little bit. We decided to uh, curb it. Where is that skeleton? Oh, it must be in the cave system beneath me or something. Huh. Okay, cool. Right, so this thing is looking good, but like I say, I think a little bit of texture variation in the regular terracotta might be in order, right? I'm almost tempted as well to actually shorten this build by a block. Yeah. Hmm, okay. I mean, I'm being quite indecisive about this build because I want it to look decent. I mean, Mumbo's gone to the effort of making a really nice looking, uh, you know, slime shop there. And I don't really want to, you know, impose on him with a really awful looking flower pot shop build. So, uh, yeah. All right. Once again, I'm going to see what I can come up with here and we'll be back in a moment. Alrighty guys, so yes, I am using my elytra right now, but for good reason, I am looking for... Yes, that's what I'm looking for. So I've been in a creative test world and I've discovered a really, really good combination to use with the terracotta, the regular terracotta. And what it entails is using stripped acacia bark, right? Sounds like a pretty interesting concept, right? Well, you guys are going to notice that actually this is a really freaking good combo. So, yeah, all we got to do is just mine some trees up. Ideally, I'd like to get a sapling uh, so we can actually start planting some of these things back at base. And then, yeah, we should be good to go. But in the meantime, let's just try and dig up as many of these acacia trees as we possibly can. And, yeah, we'll give this, uh, we'll give this little theory a go, guys. Alrighty, guys. So, I know what some of you guys are thinking. Has Python finally gone off the deep end? Has he actually gone insane? No. No, I have not. Because if I start doing this... Look at this! Look at how well the colours go together, my friends. And also, look at the amount of texture the stripped acacia bark blocks have in comparison to... The terracotta. I mean, look at that! That is so much better than what we had going on before, guys. It really, really is. <laughs> I'm so happy that I accidentally found this combination. It really does work. <laughs> oh, fantastic stuff. All right, let's have a bit of a look around the back here. There's a few more bits that I need to strip here and there. There's one over here. I might try and ninja it. Well, maybe not. I don't need to. Uh, right, so uh, there's one up here. Uh, let's try and grab that or strip it more to the point. There we go. Okay, and then there's one around the side here real quick. Okay, boop. There we go. And was there one more around the back? Was there one more around the back? No, I think that's it. But yeah, there we go, guys. Check it out. That's looking a lot better than, than it did before. Like I say, all you need to do is add a little bit of texture variation into your builds. And you can make even the ugliest looking thing look just a little bit better. 
than being just completely and totally ugly. Right, now with that all said and done, I think it would be a nice idea if we also went ahead... Oh, hang on, no, let's keep that like that. It will be a nice idea if we started to add a little bit of texture variation on the inside here. Oh, there's a bit of block lag going on as well, but it's all good. But yeah, like I say, a little bit of texture variation around the interior as well, and we are on to a winner, guys. Yeah, we're looking good. Looking good, eh? Looking good. <laughs> Fantastic. There we go, my friends. So, yeah, check it out. Welcome to Python's Flower Pot Shop. Our expertly handcrafted flower pots are sure to spruce up any build or any home. Price. One diamond for 16 flower pots. Now, as you can see, we've still got a bunch of bricks and various other things that we've gotten from uh, earlier in the series. So let's go ahead. Oh, wow. We can get 40. Right. If I get 32, that'll be two stacks. So there we go. Or two little mini stacks. Uh, we could put those in there for now. And then these ones I'm going to use for decorative purposes uh, around the edge here. Oh, I've just realized there's no light in here. <laughs> should probably go ahead and uh, fix that real quick. Uh, maybe... Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of down by having some glowstone in here. Uh, I mean, you know, give it a little bit of light on the outside as well, right? Yeah, you gotta love a little bit of light, my friends. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, let's get you in there. Okie doke. Okay, and it'll be very nice if I could somehow get up without... Uh, do you know what? I might just do this real quick. Hang on, yeah, we'll pop up here, and then we can put down some flower pots. Yeah, okie doke, looking good. Okay, so let's put you in there, put you in there, and it would be a very nice thing if we could find some things to put in the flower pots. Like maybe we get, grab some saplings amongst other things, and then we can go from there. Yeah, sounds good. You know what, guys? From afar, this build actually looks kind of decent. Not bad at all. I mean, obviously, like I say, once we've got all of this exterior decoration done, I think this place is going to look really freaking nice. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So, uh, let's head up here. And I had a bit of a change of heart, actually. As opposed to putting things high up so people can't see them, I'm going to put them, like, down here. Uh, uh, well, not floating. Uh, we'll put them there. Yes. So, this side, we can maybe have some saplings in there, rather like this. And then this side, maybe we can have some uh, little hand-picked flowers. Yes. Yes, that seems like a nice idea. All right, so now we can go place this back in. And yes, we have flower pots. Fan freaking tastic. So, ladies and gentlemen, flower pot shop is ready to be open for business. I mean, yeah, there's not a lot of stock in there, but uh, off camera after this episode ends, I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, go on a bit of a hunt for a bunch of clay. And then uh, we can, uh, you know, get the, get the shop stocked up you know, in time for the next episode. But uh, yeah, guys, for now, though, it's going to be time to end the episode. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, please do be sure to head down below the video and drop a like rating as it really help out myself, the video, and the channel very, very much. Hit the subscribe button, ding that bell as well so you don't miss out on future Minecraft content. But for now, my friends, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.